All right. What's going on, everybody? I asked you a question. Dweep? Huh? What's going on, Dweep? Exciting. Looking forward to this one. Says Dweep. Let's go! Is that, uh... Can't see your DP, so... Can't tell where that name's from. It's a cool name. Never seen it before. I'm pretty sure that's a online name. You shortened it, or maybe it's a, a short version of a longer name. But either way, yeah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for some people to uh, file in, to funnel in. And uh, we will see what we can see once you all get here. Right now, I got the... Oh, 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 poke for light. I'm not going to show it to you yet because, I, oh, Indian, nice. Just had lunch. What time is it there? You guys are, oh, you guys are really far. Just had lunch. What? Wait, what time is it in India? Well, I guess I can ask you, but I'll search for it. What time is it in India? 6.03. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> That makes more sense. I was <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute. But in New Zealand at the moment, that doesn't make sense either because you should be the same time as me. New Zealand's only an hour ahead. So it should be 930. You're having lunch at 930 in the morning or I'm wrong. We got to get to the bottom of this before we start. This is driving me nuts. Okay, what time is it in New Zealand then? What time is it in New Zealand? Oh, 1230. Whoa, it's that far away? Okay, I thought it was... Oh, okay, you had your lunch. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I see it. I'm looking at a map right now. And like, uh... oh, we got some more people coming in, so I'll stop uh, jabbering on. Oh, wow, you guys are right... You guys are right on the international dateline, but they actually scoot it over because if they didn't, it would cross too close to you guys. Wow, you're like the last time zone. All right. Oh, and 10.30 in Australia, Rebecca G. What's going on? And we got Daniel Neubauer. Good morning from South Korea. Wow, we got all these people that shouldn't be in the places they are. We got this guy in Japan. We got Dweep from India, or Indian name, in New Zealand. And we got Daniel Neubauer from South Korea. And last time I checked, Neubauer is not a Korean surname. This is fantastic. Everyone's getting along and traveling around and going to different places. And my phone is backing up four items. What? What is that? All right. Just gave me an alert. 7.33 in Chicago. Is that right? 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard. And then East Coast is three hours. Yeah, so you guys are... Um, I can't remember what Chicago's called. Um, you're not the Midwest. I mean, I guess you kind of are the Midwest, but you're not really in the West. I mean, you guys are like right next to the East. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, it's pretty international here. Exactly. Singapore, perfect. Yeah, panda eyes. Oh, wait. Singapore is the same... Time zone. Oh, one hour behind. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Canada, 935. And we got a Korean guy in Canada. You guys are flipping all around. Because I know someone with a new Bauer last name who lives in Canada. This is fantastic. Let's just talk about this all day. All right. Here it is. This is the Poke 4 Light. You might be wondering why it's called the Pork the Pork 4. The Park 4. Actually, that is how you would say poke in in England. You'd go park. Pork. Pork. I can't do it. Um, oh, I'm a German guy living in Korea, not Korean. Yeah, I, I, uh, my brother speaks German, so I, I kind of knew that Neubauer was like, no, I mean, obviously that's not a Korean last name. I know that much. I'm born and raised in Van. So anyways, you might be wondering why it's called the Poke 4 Light. Why that is, is because, and I think they're not going to release the ones that they released in China. Let me pull up my computer here because the Poke 4 was originally released as a Chinese-only domestic product that we were not even allowed to kind of report on. Um, we talked to Onyx, and Onyx doesn't tell us what to do, of course. We are a separate entity. They're not uh, sponsoring us. They don't pay us, nothing like that. But they said it would probably be better not to talk about the Chinese ones. And we have talked about the Chinese ones in the past. Uh, we, we, Or, sorry, the international domestic specific ones for example they have a bunch of things in in like um uh, russia called like the the contiki and like they said you know it's only for one market there's some stuff going on right now maybe don't talk about it and the um 
uh, the Note X came out in China. And they were like, maybe don't talk about that one. And it's true because it's not meant for the international crowd. Onyx basically has two entities, Onyx Books and Onyx Books International. Onyx Books International is the one that we all see, the ones that we have, these things. And then Onyx Books is primarily just for the Chinese market. They have things like the Note X, which we didn't even really want to touch. We were going to review it, but we're like, yeah, you know, it would it would muddle up the lineup. And hey, Steven! And um, there, there's just too many devices out right now. I think they released uh, six devices this year. They said the Note 5 came out officially last year, but... I think it was a January release. Either way, they have like six they have six devices that just came out in the past six months, basically. So they got a lot of stuff going on, Onyx. So we didn't want to muddle it up by doing the Chinese domestic products. So that's why the four light exists and not the four. Because the four, I think Michael reported on that. Uh, I think I just type in poke for China. That might actually come up. The official Pokemon website in China. Okay, never mind. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the uh, Poke 4 Lite. This is the one we're getting. This is the only one we're getting. Let's do a top-down for you guys. Oh, yeah, right. I grabbed some stuff from uh, receiving today. I don't know what it is. Everything is sealed. It's absolutely sealed. Let's see what we got here because, um, again, uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, when I come into work before I do a live, not every day, but before I do a live, I grab some stuff from downstairs receiving. And uh, I just walk by. I'm like, I'm taking this. They're like, no, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am. And then if I can show you what it is, then I'll show you what it is. Oh, cool. What? Oh, actually, I don't know if I can show you guys this. Daniel Neubauer says, interesting to know the Poke 4 exists yet. Didn't know the Poke 4 exists yet. Yeah, the Poke 4 is from the domestic market. Uh, I don't remember saying anything about this. I wonder if I can show this. I'm pretty sure I can. I talked to these guys a week ago. I'm just going to show it. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, look at this, guys. Oh, the little slips in there. Okay, I'll, I'll look at that later. Oh. Oh. If you guys don't know what the Kaite is, check out our YouTube channel. This is insane. A new one. We haven't seen a new one for a while. Oh, man. We're going to do a review on this one. It's got clean paper technology, guys. This is a slate that doesn't have batteries, but acts as e-paper does. Oh, man. Exciting. And actually, I kind of know what this is because I started to open it. And then I was like, oh, oh no, because I wanted to open it for camera. Uh, Waveshare, the guys that make panels and stuff, they uh, actually reached out to us. You know why? Because they saw that stupid thing we did where we do the um, the unboxing e-paper and we give the thing away at the end. And they said, hey, guys, we'd love to get one of our things on there. And they, they reached out to us and they gave us uh, a Waveshare thing. And I'll just peek at it because I want to save it for when we do the uh, unboxing e-paper. And I, I'll, I'll act surprised then. It's like an e-paper panel. I'm not going to look at it anymore. I promise. I'll have uh, I'll have one of our guys and girls throw it to me on the day, and then we'll do that. Anyways, all right. Cool. Yeah, Waveshare reached out to us. Uh, we didn't even really mean to make that thing anything. We just were having fun on camera, and we're like, let's unbox some e-paper stuff and give it away because, well, like, why not, right? Because, I don't know, it's a way to give back. Anyways, guys, here it is. Poke. Poke 4. Turn the lights off because it always looks better with the lights off. So, this is it. That's it. Bye. No, we'll talk about it a little bit. Let me download a book from my amazing library. <clears throat> it's actually not my library. It's the one we use for reviews and stuff. Harry Potter. Uh, I'll go into Rudo Magazine. I get oh, what did I accidentally do? Kindle Oasis user guide. That's fine. All right, we'll just get some stuff. Overwatch. Um, yeah, ask anything you guys want, by the way. Uh, Dweep says their line is pretty stacked. Oh, geez, it's super stacked, man. Um, it, it's, it's getting very difficult to keep track. I mean, the Air 2 and then the Air 2 Plus and then the Note 5 and everything's just overlapping, you know? It's pretty crazy stuff. These guys are just streamlining it. Uh, this one, guys, I'll tell you right out of the gates here. Something on the screen. Actually, you know what? This doesn't have the swipe up. So other than the floating ball, I don't know how to go home. Do you press this? No, you don't. How would you go home if you didn't have the floating ball is, uh, is what I'm thinking. Because they've they've navigated toward gesture support. You do the left, the the, the, the notifications drop down. You do the right, the, um, uh, the bar drops down with your Wi-Fi and stuff. You do swipe up and you go back or home. 
but I can be back like that. But if I didn't have the nav ball, how am I to get out of things is what I'm going to wonder. <clears throat> Anyways, yes, it does have Google Play, but watch this. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Uh, apps, this little thing, app management, it's buried. Enable Google Play. Oh. What that means is that it's not out of the box. So that means that you have to click Enable Google Play. You have to click this, the GSF ID, to bind your... We had to do this two days ago in order to get it ready for today's live because it wouldn't connect to Google Play. And obviously, we didn't need it for the unboxing. So yeah, so far, only the um, uh, Air 2 Plus and the Nova Air C have out-of-the-box Google Play, which means you open it up. Uh, someone mentioned to us and... and um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, pointed out to us that uh, the the Air 2 Plus had out of the box Google Play after an update. It was not when we started the review. So yeah, how clearer is the screen? I read it's 300. It's not 300 ppi like other devices. Rebecca, I think it is 212. Maybe let's check. I do know it has a. 256 gig support for OTG, which means you can plug something into the... There you go, 212 school. Uh, you can plug something into the... What happened to the audio? Oh. Is everyone else having an audio problem? Because it looks fine on my end. Darko, and maybe turn it up. Uh, levels are fine on my end. Uh, please... Please um, let us know. Yeah, so this has a 256 gig support for OTG. So if you plug in the little adapter they have at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not showing you. The little adapter they have at the bottom, it uh, can support a very big SD card. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, 212 PPI. So that's unfortunate. But um, what is good? Yeah, audio is fine. Perfect. Yeah, so what's good about this is that... Let's go down. This has a non-flush screen and bezel. They call this a bezel cover. So what that means is a lot of people have this fear that when they see no flush screen and bezel, the e-ink screen is exposed. It is not. It is so far away from the top. It's not even funny. You look at it like this and you might think, oh, that's the screen. Don't touch it. Oh, my gosh. But it has a capacitive layer on top. And on top of that capacitive layer is a sealed layer to seal that. It, all these layers are thin, guys. You guys got to go to our, our, our teardown video. It's an invaluable video. And then underneath that is a gel layer for the glow light. That's a layer of gel from, from the factory. Now, there's also further down, there's another layer on top of the actual EPD, the electronic paper display. So although you think this may look like, oh, it's exposed. I don't want to touch it. I want to look at it. It's going to dent. No, you're good. This is okay. It's not the exposed e-ink screen. They just don't make it pretty with a piece of glass on top. And in fact, when you put a piece of glass on top, it, it's even more diluted. So to be completely honest, this actually looks a little bit better. And we've always said this and we stand by it. Devices that use sunken screen and bezels, sunken, majority of the t majority of the time look better the ink pad color is 7.8 uh, the ink pad color is not flush screen yeah ink pad color the pocketbook color they they typically do look very good so um yeah steven just said i love they didn't put glass on this yeah because it, it's even more matte and anti-reflective look how good that looks are you gonna just tell me something every time i do anything thank you there we go yeah that looks really good actually what do we got here? Mario Sotelo. What's up, my guy? Just discovered your channel. Big E Reader fan. Uh, yeah, not my channel. It's our channel for sure. We we have uh, 40 people in the company here, so we're definitely... I know you didn't mean it like that, but I'm just saying, no, it's not just me. I just, you know, I, you know, spearhead along with Michael. But no, there's a bunch of people involved nowadays. Uh, it used to be just Mike and I, but uh, that got old. We needed to expand, you know? Yeah, 212 confirmed, Dweep. Um, typically on a smaller screen, uh, you don't need 300 PPI. Would it have been nice? Sure. But to have Google Play with every... Just Google Play alone is worth the 88 PPI cut. It really is. It does change 
to, to say it changes things is an understatement. It changes absolutely everything to have Google Play. It's so... Hola, Brazil here. I don't know Portuguese, but... Actually, hola is probably the same in Portuguese. Yeah, hola. There we go. Well, thank you for all you do. Yeah, Mario, for sure. Stick around. We have a lot of different segments. Uh, Mike does a podcast. Uh, uh, he spearheads the news publication team. Um, oh, and actually... Uh, yeah, we got a lot of things on the run right now. Just to let you guys know what's going on tomorrow, uh, why we're doing this today when we usually do it on a Thursday, is because tomorrow we got invited to uh, DSJ uh, 2022, which is a digital signage Japan uh, convention in Tokyo. And uh, we just so happen to have a branch here in um, in Japan, Goody Reader Japan. And why we did that is because it's, it's, it's a strategic move to be located here as well as Canada, as well as the States, as well as Hong Kong, as well as China. So anyways, yeah, we are going to go to um, a trade show tomorrow and there'll be uh, lots of good stuff. So LG is going to be there, HP. E-Ink's not on the list of exhibitors, but, you know, we were invited. So it's like... Digital signage, why are you guys not on the list? It's really weird. I guarantee they're going to be here. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. That's why we're doing this today because tomorrow will be um, uh, AWOL. Is that what you could call it? AWOL. No, that's when you, what do you call it? MOA? Anyways, we'll be busy. Jeez, I'm forgetting all the English idioms. Yeah, Google Play is crazy, guys. It really is. I mean, look at this. I could download Stardew Valley. What is that? It looks kind of cool. It looks like a um, Harvest Moon... 2D uh, kind of like Wild Arms mashup of uh, graphics. That's kind of nice. Yeah, and uh, you can go up to here, and they've moved it now to E Ink Center, I think, right here. Yeah. So they do have their X mode still, which is thank goodness for that. Um, some devices don't have X mode because it, it screws with the color. Why is that not activating? Oh, there we go. I've got to press it harder. Yeah, so X mode's great. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Look how fast that gets. My goodness. Unfortunately, I can't show any of these videos because then it would be uh trademarked or you know um dcma copyright so yeah my dream is to have such an e-reader but it doesn't sell here i'm using a translator oh wow uh thank you for going the extra mile to translate things for us sheesh yeah uh we try to be in as many markets as we can uh it's physically impossible we've expanded to five but um yeah it's it's hard to enter all these markets uh people have been pushing us to enter the indian market because if we could enter there then each customer wouldn't have to spend like 40% VAT or something like that. But anyways, that's that's just something for another day. Google Play is great on this. Absolutely insane. And uh, it, it it does change everything. But I mean, it's, not a, it's a surprise for most people to see Google Play. Wow, an e-reader on Google Play. But Onyx has been doing this for many moons. They've been doing this forever. Where's my... Oh, yeah. I needed a drink. I'm going to open up a cold one. It, it's tea. It, it, it's, it's tea, guys. No, I don't. Uh, I don't drink. But I've been talking all morning. So this is a, a 16 blend of tea, a.k.a. the trimmings and runoff of all the other teas that are good. They just probably mesh it all into one and be like, yeah, yeah it's a blend. It's like it's the leftovers. But sure. It's the hot dog of teas. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marlon, your dream is to have an e-reader such as this. I would definitely consider um, maybe getting this one. Why this exists, people, we'll actually break this down. Why this exists is because it's only $140. Is that accurate? I'm pretty sure it's $140. Let me look here. Is it $140? We're a distributor of there, so we can't charge any more or less for the prices. We have to play ball. Uh, la, 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 la. Is it 140? I don't know. Yeah, 149 dollars. That's that's really good. I I don't I don't quite understand if you guys if you guys understand. I don't know if you guys understand how cheap that is for this. That's an Onyx product. I mean. They're getting their prices down to Amazon levels. Like, it's really getting there, guys. This this is that's cheap. I just it's kind of just like I, I I knew what it what it, what it was I knew what it was selling for and everything, but it just like really hit me like the Oasis and the Paperweight uh, Signature Edition. You know, they're they're not cheap either. And for them to release this in a full package, 
shipped to your door and it's like 149 bucks is pretty good and someone said i like the white who said that um uh dweep said the white looks nice yeah when they sent us a review sample they said hey guys do you want a white one or a black one we're like you know what black's great but every single device is black so let's get a white one because come on i mean why would we why just you know why would we do that yeah the courtney yeah the price is insane google play on it this is as much as the y ben okay i think we had a discount recently but up until i think yesterday the y ben is 149 you guys know what the y ben is y hyphen ben <laughs> i don't mean to laugh at them but it's silly them exist it's like a texas instrument calculator is trying to play with all these e-readers and they're like i can do stuff too and it's like no you can't yeah unbelievable uh rebecca yeah the only thing it's missing is a speaker but you know what speakers aren't that expensive they're really not that much money and you know what other devices like the is it the p6 or the lemon reed and the lemon reed one one of them is a six inch it's really cheap i think it's 119 dollars something and it has audio so there's not really a whole lot of excuse why they didn't have audio it really isn't I don't think it would have messed with the price all that much. I really, really don't. But it is nice that uh, the basics are only 167 PPI. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, but they're Amazon. They could release a, they could release a garbage e-reader and still sell. They would. They could. A, a lot of Amazon e-readers are kind of crossing over now. Have you noticed that? Like first the Kindle Basic didn't have glow lights, and then it did, and then the Kindle Basic didn't have a touchscreen, and now it does. So it's creeping. So it has a glow light and a touchscreen. So, so it's just a paperweight. And then the paperweight got big, 6.8. But 6.8 is almost 7, which is the Oasis, which they haven't updated for like five years. So it's like, huh. <laughs> so their stuff is kind of all over the place. But uh, yeah, uh, you're right. The paperweight is more of a comparison for the price, correct. But uh, yeah, you don't, get, you don't get no Google Play on a paperweight. This is really cool. And I've downloaded. You know what I've done? You know what I've done, everybody? Watch this. You know what I did? I downloaded Kindle on here. Boom, now it's a Kindle. Now it's a Kindle with Google Play because I can do the Kindle things. Here, I'm going to read my Kindle books on my Kindle. Oh, look, my new manga I downloaded and purchased directly from Amazon. Boom. I mean, you know, there's not there's not a whole lot of reason to buy. Now, I, I don't want to say, like, tablets are the answer because this is a tablet. It's not an e-reader anymore. It, it isn't really. It's a tablet. Um, I don't want to say tablets like are the answer but they're pretty much the answer the the only thing that really separates tablets and e-readers primarily is the price and this can be compared to one of the longest standing true authentic e-reader companies and that is pocketbook all of their stuff is really cheap not quality price basic is 80 bucks uh the touch lux 3 is 99 dollars. the touch hd3 is super high quality 119 dollars. they're a true e-reader company they have the only large screen e-reader in the world other than the face note n1 which doesn't count and the dasung which is 900 dollars, which is a tablet so really i i uh not e-reader. um pocketbook is really the only guys doing true e-readers and their prices were always very low Hundred nineteen dollars, eighty, ninety, seventy, etc. So you pit that up against all oh, the Onyx Books Nova and the the P seventy eight by Boy. Oh, they're hundreds of dollars. Well, now they're not hundreds of dollars. They're hundred of dollars and forty, hundred and forty, for a full blown Android eleven tablet where you could download a Super Mario RPG Super Nintendo ROM emulator and play on here. I mean. You can't do that on anything. And yeah, you guys said it right. The comparison for the Amazon Paperwhite, Onyx is catching up. They're catching up to the low price. They're catching down. They're catching up to having a low price entry level e-reader that does so much more than an e-reader. Everything the Amazon Paperwhite does is in here. But nothing the Onyx can do is in a Paperwhite. Not saying this is the best, but it's the best. No, I'm just kidding. It's really good, though. Because, yeah, again, every, 
every single conceivable thing that Paperwhite does is in this with a higher resolution as per okay well, I guess the Paperwhite Paperwhite 6.8 now it's 300 ppi okay but it's okay you know what I mean we're splitting hairs here a lot of yes it does Mario Mario does have speed modes we're on x mode right now uh you can watch videos if you'd like oh you know what let's do that because we'll just go to the browser yeah everything a paperweight can do is in here if you want oh but i can't download my kindle books yeah you can you just download kindle and you can download your kindle books so that solved everything with a click of a button and and, and that's it <laughs> oh man yeah it, it's just really you know what it is it's getting harder and harder to find excuses to not buy not not just Onyx. Anyone, anyone. A, a boy, boy, you P10s coming out. P10 Pro by Me Book is coming out. You know what I mean? Like it's getting harder and harder to find excuses not to buy these type of devices. Because it's almost like why buy anything else? And it, it, a lot of you guys are like, well, I don't want all the distraction. Well, just don't use anything then. Uninstall everything. You know, don't. Stick your hand in the cookie jar and grab a cookie. Just look at the cookie. You know, I know it's hard. I was addicted to cookies. Back in the day. Back in the day, guys. I loved me some cookies. Why does it always... Oh, because it started to autofill. Okay, well, I don't want to go to YouTube. YouTube.com YouTube. Can I just go to, like, regular YouTube? Okay, let me click here. Okay. Oh, there's still a dot. Is it going to take... Oh, I did. Let me take a swig. Mmm. How is the battery? Um, yeah, Rebecca, you can turn everything off. And you're consuming... E-readers e are e-readers. This panel is the same... Okay, you know, don't judge me here for the little intri intricacies. But this six-inch panel is the same as a Kindle. They bought it from e-ink. For the most part, that's it. They bought, hey, can I have, Onyx said, can I have 10,000 six-inch panels? They go, okay, here. Amazon said, hey, can I have 10 million ink panels? Ink says, sure, here you go. It's the same thing from the same place. So if you turn everything off and you read a book, logic says you shouldn't be using any more or less power than anyone else. That That's, that's just straight up because that's how it works. If you have Bluetooth on, if you have this on, that on, the other thing. The Huawei, for example, you can't use the pen without Bluetooth connected. You know what I mean? There's little things that each individual device has their own little tweaks and quirks. But for the most part, if you're just reading a book on an e-paper panel purchased from e-ink on a body that you can hold in your hands, then yeah, it'd be the same thing. Absolutely. Oh no, we can't show goody reader stuff because then it'll be... It, oh, what if I play this live right now? Yo... Look, guys. Ah! <laughs> That's so cool. I'm playing... Oh, but it's a black background. Hey, it's me. Whoa. It's like I'm in the e-reader. All right, let's go back. Oh, an, an announcement is coming. Sorry. One moment. Japan has a lot of announcements in the city. They kind of yell these things on loudspeakers, so there's an announcement coming very soon. Uh, you might hear it. So let's go back and choose something that has a little bit more depth. Here we go. So we have the... Let's go full screen. Can I go full screen? There we go. And we're on X mode. You know what? I think X mode might be overkill here. Got it, school. Tachiyomi. Yep. That's right. Recently you couldn't do that here because of the whole... Coronavirus. Oh, that's what's bothering me. The dark color enhancement. There you go. That looks better. I was like, why does it look so crappy? There, that looks way better. Boom. Look at that. Here, you guys watch this and drink my drink my tea. Sponsored by this tea. No, it's not. That's not even X mode, guys. I, I scaled it back to speed mode. That's how good this is. Like, no joke. It really is. Ah, oh, I remember that. Ah, the A9. Good times. That was one whole day ago. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I, I, I see really no problem with this device. Like, there's really... 
there just isn't anything bad you can say about it. You know, a lot of people, like I was saying about excuses, even ourselves included, you know, we always had to tell people that you can buy an e-reader for hundred something dollars, but these tablets, you know, you're going to come, it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you 300 bucks. And, but it's not really the case anymore. They are coming down. They're coming down to the point where it's, you're debating between this and an e-reader. So yeah, you know, the, the tables are slowly turning uh, to the point where tablets are becoming a little bit more commonplace. And in fact, e-readers are becoming more expensive. Amazon's becoming more expensive. Uh, Pocketbook has some expensive stuff in their lineup. For the most part, they're priced very well. Uh, a lot of these new players, um, um, they got some expensive stuff. I think iReader makes really good stuff, but they're fairly expensive and they're only Chinese right now. Um, oh, yeah. The uh ink palm the ink palm has no google play has uh no speed modes and it's more money than the onyx this is wow my gosh yeah this is 60 bucks more oh wow nothing bad about this this is great and it's a oh yeah here i wanted to show you guys this oh wait i don't have an e9 where's my e9 oh no it's over there can you bring me my e9 <laughs> okay okay but okay here here i'll show you no i can't because i don't have the a9 ah whatever anyways it was more of this i'll show you so it was a comparison between screen sizes for example these are effectively almost the same screen size this is 5.84 and this is six so it's kind of like why is this so small and why that is is because when it comes to screen sizes it's measured diagonally so you can see that's almost hitting six, but that's six as well because of the extreme angle it's on. If I tilted that down like that, you know what I mean? It would be the same as that. So all these new devices coming out, the A9, the 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 touch, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the High Reader by Hisense, the Hisense Touch Museum, the Ink Palm. They look like these tiny little screens and you're like, wow, it's half the size. It's not. It's not, they're almost, these are almost the same. It's just the way they do it. It's so crazy. It's like a optical illusion. You know what I mean? It's really weird. Yeah. The, the 6.1 A9, it's, it's over in the studio. I don't want to get it right now. Is actually bigger than this, but looks way smaller. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, do you guys have any questions about this? Because uh, we're pretty much at the end of the live today. And oh, still, we got some people here. Perfect, some people. Panda Eye, still holding on to my Poke Pro. Hold on a sec. Poke Pro? Yeah, you hear the thing? Wait, Poke Pro? Why do I not know what a Poke Pro is? No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Books, Poke Pro. Why am I not. Oh, that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. I was like, what's a Poke Pro? We did a review. We did a um a thing on it back in 2018. Yeah, Poke Poke and Poke Pro, that's right. Okay. I was like, why well, I know the Note Pro. I didn't know the uh the Poke Pro was the was part of it there. Vance Christian, love from Canada. Oh, awesome. I ordered a books note too from you guys a week ago. Looking forward to get to it. Uh Vance, yeah, so how Goody Reader works now is that uh, Michael and myself used to do everything. We used to actually do everything. Like, I packed up the things. And he would, like, you know, do the, 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 the articles and the editing. And, and, like, we all did our own things. And now it's like, we don't do that. So, um, yeah, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, you ordered a book. So, yeah, we have five locations now. One's in Chicago. Uh, Oak Park. One is in uh, Vancouver. One is in here um, in the conjoining office here and then uh, Hong Kong and China. So where our devices come from now actually is handled by a completely separate division of Goody Reader. It's a completely separate entity in a way. It's the Goody Reader store and that has really nothing to do with the YouTube department. So I know a lot of guys always ask me, they're like, Peter, where's my stuff? It's like, I don't know. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't. I do the media stuff and like I do some other stuff and go to trade shows. Like I don't know. Um. Yeah. Uh. We have. Uh. We're 24 hours here. We hit all time zones. So, um. You know. Hit us up if you have a question. Hit up the store. Store at goodyreader.com. Um. Miki would love to help you out. So yeah.
Do Hisense and Hi Reader have Google Play? They don't have Google Play out of the box, nor do they have any sort of uh, uh, way to do it. You have to root your device, so no. The extra width gets it. The extra width gets at least another word or two per line. It does, JD. It's so weird. It's so weird to look at these two and be like, oh yeah, that's double the screen size. It's not. It's the same. It's the same. It's like that thing where they show you the two grays, right? Uh, you ever seen that picture? And it's like, put your hand in the middle. And it's like, wow, they're the same color. But when you move your hand, that looks like it's light gray. And that looks like it's just optical illusions the way they do things it's the same screen size all these high sense devices they look like they had these like tiny little screens they're not they're they're the same as an e-reader it's just weird i bet if you made a square e-reader where did i put that a six inch square e-reader taking full advantage of the 45 degree angle full maximized space you'd have this gigantic block <laughs> you'd have this big square someone actually mentioned that they uh, i i misheard them on the last live they said um uh, what's better, this or a square e-reader? And it got me thinking, like, a square e-reader. Not one company has done a square e-reader. I guess you can say M5, with their M5 stack, has these little dev kits. They have a square. But no one has an actual tooled and completed square e-reader. That might be cool. Uh, Stephen Prosser, I feel like a tablet Google Play readers are just so annoying. Oh, uh, amazing. Oh, my God. Sorry. The lights are in my eyes. <laughs> there's lights. Look, there's this whole rack of lights here. And I thought you said annoying. Steven did not say annoying. They're so amazing. Yet there's a lot of hardcore Kindle fans out there that claim the newest Kindle screens visually look better. Um, Steven, if they're using Carta 1200, 1250? 1200 or 1250, like the iReader is. iReader, you know what? You guys hate on the Oasis. Sorry, the, the Ocean. The Ocean 2. You don't, you don't hate on it. I'm just saying, you know, you all out there in the, in the meta. Um... A lot of people hate on the Ocean 2 by iReader. Screen looks good. Looks really good. It's Chinese only. But anything you load is, is, is your own language. Looks really good. Um, yeah, you know, Stephen, the, uh, the, the Paperweight looks good. Paperweight looks mighty fine, I must say. You get yourself a good signature edition. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Need to get yourself into Melbourne, Australia. Um, Darko. Thanks for stopping by, but, and no, no offense. And Canadians is pretty much the same reason. The only reason we're in Canada is because we're from Canada. Wouldn't be a whole lot of reason to go to Australia because just logistically speaking on a mathematical level, I have friends that live there. Someone moved on the gold coast, golden coast. It's like on the, like, if this is Australia, it'd be like there. Um, yeah, uh, uh, there's not a lot of people in Australia. <laughs> there's there's nobody there. It's like Canada. It's this big, uh, second biggest country in the world. And there's like five people. And they all live next to the States. <laughs> and they all go down to the States to buy milk and gas. Growing up, like constantly, we go down to Bellingham. Um, there's no people in Australia. There's, there's no market. There's like maybe 28 million people, 30 million people. Canada's got like 38 million people. There's 38 million people in the greater Tokyo metropolitan area than there is in the entire country of Canada. So, yeah, when I say it's like a strategic move, you can see why. There's not really a whole lot of reason. It's like Singapore. We wouldn't go into Singapore. It's not a whole lot of people. Things are relatively expensive. It's very condensed, crowded. A Toyota Prius costs $120,000 USD. There's no real reason for us to go there. So, like, from a business perspective, from a beauty perspective, Australia and New Zealand are, are consistently top of the list when it comes to, like, developed countries, beautiful landscape, uh, like, amazing infrastructure. But, yeah, there's just no reason to go there as a business. Um, there's really no market. So, uh, yeah, especially for these, it's like, and everyone would just buy them on Amazon and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing bad about Canada, and we, we operate in Canada, of course. I'm from Vancouver, born and raised, but uh, people wondered why Target died in Canada. Target was coming into Canada in 2006 or seven or something, and they took over Zellers, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, $2 box of Cookie Crisp. And it's like, not only do we not have Cookie Crisp in Canada, it's not going to be 2 bucks. It's going to be five ninety nine. And then Target went under, because you can't have a country that's so drastically huge with logistics issues in between oh we got to get something from our ontario depot to prince rupert and it's like 
oh my god, that's like 6,000 kilometers away. You know how much it costs to get a truck or a plane or a train or the time? It's time versus money versus gas versus energy from, from East Coast Canada to West Coast. Not even that, to North Oh my God! It's like traveling around the planet. That's 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 as that's as far as you could go in the universe without running out of air. That's insane. So that's why things in Canada are mostly expensive. And then you go down to the states, and it's like major city, major city, major city. You go to Japan, and it's like this condensed metropolis of tens of millions of people. So you only got to travel ten feet, and you're in another city. Whereas that just doesn't happen in a place like Canada or Australia. Dude, how far away is Perth? From anything else in Australia, you would you would know the answer to that. It's far. It's like it's so far. And then in the middle of Australia, there's like one percent of the population of Australia in the landmass bigger than most countries. So, yeah, it's it's just it's not gonna happen. And New Zealand, probably the most beautiful place on earth. That's why Lord of the Rings was filmed there. I don't want to get hit by some gigantic wormhole earthquake that it just sucks everything into sorry if you guys get a lot of earthquakes oh man i love cracking fun this is great uh you guys are fantastic this is this is really good to see all you guys here uh, i love shooting the poo poo with you guys um gotta say that uh thank you so much for not really asking many questions about this that's okay we'll see a review on this coming soon um i know the guys are waiting for me to wrap up the live before they upload the a9 video for the review and uh, we'll be getting the A9 review up and running very soon. So it'll actually go right after this. I think it's done. They're just waiting on um, me to shut my pie hole. Man, you know what they don't have in Japan? Apple pie. They have apple pie, but they don't have any cinnamon in it. No any cinnamon. It's weird. Even if you go to a bakery that has apple pie, like not a McDonald's apple pie. They have that. They have more McDonald's in Japan than any other country in the world except for the States. But... Like an apple pie, it's more of like a little strudel thing, and there's just apples in it. There's no cinnamon. You gotta have cinnamon. How do you have an apple pie without cinnamon? I want a triangular slice of apple pie. Anyways, thank you guys. Thanks so much. Very nice talking to you all. Um, this just timed out, and there's a nice little elephant on it. That's cute. Wow. And it says, I'm like a swan. Oh, dreaming big. All right. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. You guys are fantastic. Dweep, Mike. Uh, who else? Sal 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 with an H. It's a great name. Can't say that. Rebecca, Mario, Courtney, Steven, Mario again, JD, School, Panda Eyes, Tom Doe. Thanks for tuning in from all around the world. See you guys later. Dweep from India, living in New Zealand, said an Italian word on an English live. How international can you get? Ciao. I'm Italian. I can't speak it. Bye-bye.